everyone's favorite country on the planet, Turkey. If anything, it, it, instead of talking about Cyprus, talk about fucking Kurds, dude, okay? But of course, he's not going to talk about Kurds because, like, it's very similar to fucking... One, Kurds are also Muslim. And two, uh, similar, uh, similar occupation to, like, uh, or similar displacement uh, to what uh, he considers to be positive and good when Israel is doing it to Palestinians. But, like... This whataboutism betrays the fucking values that you espouse, okay? You either believe, you either believe that it's good, okay? You either believe that it's good and that's why you're defending it, or you believe it's bad when other people do it, but it's good when you do it? Like, because you can't turn around and be like, what Israel did is actually pretty fucking poggers. But look at Turkey. No one's criticizing Turkey. It's like, dog, okay then. So what's up? Like, what's up then? What's up with Israel then? To the, maybe they don't know that they hate Jews, but they give us so much trouble. The UN only talks about Israel. What about North Korea? What about Russia? Then the second thing would be to... Yeah, famously armed by the, uh, armed by the uh, Western states and legitimized by uh, the most powerful states on the planet, North Korea and Russia. But once again, whataboutism betrays the actual values that you espouse. You cannot act like you're a fucking progressive and then criticize Russia and North Korea while simultaneously drawing that equivalence on your own. I didn't even say it. You said it. You drew that equivalence and then fucking said that's bad, implying that it's bad when they do it, but it's somehow good when you do it. To say is that... Even from the UN? Completely from the UN. I mean, I mean, come on. You're talking about that we're worse than the North Korean dictatorship? Like, nobody in the world thinks that. So those people in the UN and all these peace activists... Wait, what? Completely from the UN. I mean, I mean, come on. You're talking about that we're worse than the North Korean dictatorship? Like, nobody in the world thinks that. So those people in the UN and all these peace activists... Are okay, first of all... The difference between North Korea and Israel, and I've said this about America and North Korea routinely, is that North Korea does not have the fucking fraction of the power to do anything to South Korea, with the exception of, like, artillery fire if push came to shove, which would then subsequently turn the entirety of North Korea into fucking glass. Okay? Okay. Also, why is your metric for manageable uh, apartheid conditions fucking North Korea? Okay? Like, oh, dude, we're not as bad as North Korea, dude. What the fuck? Which I don't even believe, for the record. Uh, no, it's worse. America is worse than, worse than North Korea in the sense that America, maybe not to its own citizens, but to fucking literally other countries, America subjects them to significantly worse conditions than what North Korea can do to any other country, sheerly because they do not have fucking power. They just don't. They don't. If you think North Korea is powerful in any way, you're a fucking idiot, okay? You're a delusional moron that has been fed so much fucking propaganda that you think this country that, like, doesn't even have the fucking uh, GDP or economic power or any power in general comparable to, like, a fucking American state like Wisconsin, okay? then you're a delusional psycho. That's one. And two, why is it that, like, your metric for success... This is like when Americans say, like, uh, gun violence in our country, Sweaty. Uh, have you heard of El Salvador? It's like, why is that the fucking metric? Oh, uh, America doesn't have health care? Well, what about Somalia? They don't have health care, too. Okay. I didn't realize... We were the wealthiest nation on earth and we're comparing ourselves to fucking Somalia! <laughs> like, that's crazy, dude. That's crazy. I mean, look, she's a woman. She's walking around however she wants here in Israel, right? There's female genital mutilation in Egypt, not very far from here. Why don't people talk about that? <laughs> what the fuck? Dude. 
based anti-female genital mutilation take from, you know, a Jewish person who gets circumcised, but that's, uh, of course, I'm not an, I'm not an intactivist, so I'm not going to touch that subject, but, uh, hilarious. Okay, why isn't North Korea dangerous? Because they are a fucking laughable, laughably uh, small and, and laughably powerless nation. Okay? I think that like, we should have more, not more rights. I think we, we have rights to build more houses for our citizens and like a lot of things that Israel gets criticism for, other countries will never get it. I want to say to the government here in Israel, there is no way to have peace here in Israel. You can't do peace with them, they always love us. If you can't do peace with them and the situation is not like this, you need to deal with them in other ways, there is nothing to do. It's irrelevant. The views of Israelis about the situation are totally irrelevant to the question of how do we change the situation. Did it matter what white people think about apartheid in South Africa at the time? The question is how do we end apartheid and how do we end Israeli crimes? You know, every Israeli official will say, will claim to speak on behalf of the Jewish people and will even demand of Palestinians to recognize Israel's right to be a Jewish state and so on. How is female genital mutilation in Egypt relevant to Israel? No, when you get, when you get like a Zionist, when you back a Zionist into like an intellectual corner, they just literally start doing, uh, like, well, uh, we're fucking vegan, dude. Like, uh, uh, we're LGBT friendly and we're fucking vegan. And, uh, like, that's it. It's just like, I have no other thing to say here and it's not great. So, uh, yeah, we're actually... Uh, we're not North Korea. It's kind of fucked up uh, what North Korea is doing. Why aren't you talking about that? <laughs> it's just, it's whataboutism. You and the hoodie gang fuck circumcision law? No, unfortunately, I was robbed of my foreskin as a baby. I don't recognize Israel's right to be a Jewish state because it is not Jewish by religion. It is only Jewish by supremacy. Israel is Jewish just like South Africa was white in the exact same context. True with the exact same meaning. This is true. Straight up. And uh, obviously any decent person around the world should oppose that because it is inherently racist and more than that. And it also happens to be very much against international law. So when we talk about Israel as an apartheid state, even though it's not exactly like South Africa, it neatly falls under the legal definition of the crime of apartheid, which is a very serious crime one of the few crimes that is regarded as a crime against humanity. Which means that all parties of the world are obligated to, to, to do something against it, not to, not to be complicit in that. And what we're coming and saying is, no, there are basic fundamental Palestinian rights that must be respected. One of them is ending of the occupation, of course, but that's not the main issue, that's part of the issue. The other two rights are equality inside Israel proper, or what we call Palestine 48, and the rights of the refugees, which have been expelled from there since the very foundation of the State of Israel. These are fundamental rights, they must be respected. Uh, and now we can debate, we can argue about how do we implement these rights. I'm willing to discuss that. I'm not willing to discuss, you know. God damn it. Every time, every time I get like an itch, I don't know if it's like with you guys as well, but when you get an itch inside of your nose, it's unrelated to the story completely. But like, it just gets worse and worse when you start itching it. Should we Sorry, I don't know if it's because I have too many nose hairs. You guys need to stop uh, the debate on fucking foreskins and stuff. Uh, none of your peepees matter, okay? Stop. Inside of my nose hole, yes. Um, yes, I will react to Ben Shabibo. Oh god, now the other side is getting itching! Fuck! Okay, um...
Anyway, uh, please stop talking about your foreskins chat. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my Lord. All right, all right, all right, all right. I am not going to watch the video about Israel and Palestine. The middle ground video on Israel and Palestine is fucking cringe brain cancer, dude. The al -Aqsa Brigade's march in great numbers from Jinin refugee camp announcing officially that engagement with the enemy will start immediately in all West Bank locations. What? Fatah is now involving them in the conflict, as it seems. <laughs> oh, geez. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not good. Okay, let's watch, uh, let's watch the, uh, the, 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 uh, uh, the Ben Shabibo video if you want. But I don't know which one to watch. Fever Dream? Woke Disney, take your Snow White privilege and get out of here. We would never say the M word. No Trump supporters allowed. Vaccinated only. Pronoun train at the trans station. Antifa land. Black lives matter horn. Socialism go around. A free ride. Anyway, um, I'm going to watch the Ben Shabibo video. I don't know which one it is, though. But, uh, I mean, that'd be pretty pog if they did this. Oh, here. To get shot. Here, I'll, I'll just show you. Wait, hold on. I want to see if this is uh, fucking TOS stuff. One second. I, I wanted to show you guys this. But before I do that... It's top of the hour every hour. I forgot to run an ad break again, so I'm going to run the ad break now. I wonder what the M word is, by the way. I have no idea what that is. Um, so it's time for a 60-second ad break. If you'd like an ad-free broadcasting experience, you know, don't miss a single moment or whatever. Um, all you need to do is subscribe. You can do it for $5, or you can subscribe for free with a Twitch Prime. Okay. Oh, M word is MAGA. Got it. All right. Uh, I'm running the ad now and I'm watching this video. Uh, here it is. So this is from Hang. This is from the uh, Gaza Fights for Freedom full documentary. And this is how Israeli spokespeople explain away IDF snipers deliberately shooting and killing dozens of unarmed children for the crime of attending a protest. To get shot, believe it or not. They're paying them something like $500 per gunshot wound. You know, Hamas sent a seven-year-old girl who was wearing a Minnie Mouse uh, sweatsuit right up to the fence so that IDF troops would, in their perverse, in, in, in the perverse mindset of Hamas, would shoot her and kill her. It is What? That's fucking just, how do you say that, dude? Like how, how do you get yourself to be like, there is a guy behind the sniper rifle who's shooting a girl. Okay. But it's, it's, it's people that are like pushing the fucking. So basically, and I hate to say this, but you know what this is? Okay, dude, I got it. You're trying to say the, the N-word, but with an M, you got a permanent ban, okay? Are you happy? I don't care if you're a fucking one-month subscriber or not. Hamas sent a seven-year-old girl to force snipers to kill her. I mean, doesn't that mean that, like, this fucking terrorist group still believes that Israel is more humane than they actually are? Isn't that technically this? Like, isn't that what you're saying when you, when you say shit like that? Aren't you literally fucking saying that, like, yeah, these guys are fucking uh, bloodthirsty terrorists, but also they still think that Israel is going to be more humane. But, you know, 
Israel showed them. Reported that someone in a wheelchair was fatally shot, Mr. Ambassador. Hamas is always very good at trying to put out all sorts of propaganda and myths. That's they're experts at that. And they intentionally right. moved up the day so that it would coincide with the opening of embassy move, so that we would all be disgusted and heartbroken when we saw this horrible split screen of Ivanka Trump looking like she was at a country club next right. to poor, desperate people dying I, in I Gaza. I agree with you. They planned that. Absolutely. Right. And I'm just saying, let's not fall for a trap that is being set by a, a theocratic, I, authoritarian I'm, group that is sending no, I'm not women and children I don't think I'm falling for a trap. I, I, agree, I couldn't agree more with all of that. I think it's terrible. Of course. Guys, 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 stop. Bill Maher hates religions equally, okay? But, you know, the theocratic, oh, I guess not fully theocratic, but the, but the Jewish ethno, ethno state project of Israel, well, that's fucking poggers, okay? He hates all religions equally, but he just hates, like, the, the uh, religion of, of Islam more equally than others. that Hamas is butchering its own children. Hamas is conducting massive self-genocide. They want to pile up as many uh, civilian dead as they can because somebody said they use, I mean, it's gruesome, they use telegenically dead Palestinians for their cause. Okay, let's use this logic, okay? I mean, this is literally just stop hitting yourself, uh, the, the bully stop hitting yourself tactic, right? I mean, it's way more disgusting when you think about, like, what's actually happening. So why are you playing into it? I mean, here's one way to stop that. I mean, oh, no, like, the worst part about my ethnic cleansing is when, you know, it makes me look bad. The worst part about my ethnic cleansing is when it makes me look bad when I'm in the process of doing the ethnic cleansing. Why? I hate it. Why can't I just do a little bit of ethnic cleansing with absolutely zero condemnation from the international community? Mm. And the funny part is like, it's not like there's a lot of condemnation to begin with, or rather the condemnation fucking actually works. But, uh, you know. But it's great. It's like, well, how about, uh, how about instead of saying like they're telegenetically or, or telegen... I don't even know how to say this, but telegenically dead. Uh, just don't shoot them. You know, it's a fucking super sick, super easy way to uh, not offer Hamas that uh, that ultimate goal. They want the more dead, the better. They're pushing civilians, women, children into the line of fire with a view. He did not come up with the phrase telegenically dead on the spot. That shit was concocted by propagandists and maybe even focus group. Of getting casualties. We try to minimize the casualties. They're trying to incur casualties in order to, uh, uh, in order to put pressure on Israel, which is harm. What they're deliberately doing is seeking to kill as many Palestinians as possible in order to uh, yell to the world to help us. Bro, the Palestinians are not dying randomly. The people that you're defending are killing them. Why is it that like every fucking time we have this fucking conversation, all of these motherfuckers rob the agency of the Israeli IDF soldiers that are engaging in these acts of violence from any sort of humanity. Like, they're just like, these guys are fucking robots, man. They are psycho murderers, bro. You don't understand. Like, I'm sorry, bro. It's fucking literally your fault that you came to the fucking border, dog. You're going to get clapped if you come to the border. And much of the world is condemning us. Why is this Hassan Abid dude defending Hamas? Is he a fucking lunatic? Yes, dude, I'm, I'm, one, I'm defending Hamas, and two, I'm a lunatic for saying that, like, hey, perhaps Israeli soldiers should not fucking headshot medics and children if they don't want to look bad when they're doing their fucking little bit of ethnic cleansing. You know, there's a really cool way of avoiding that, which is don't fucking snipe non-combatants. War crimes, basically, they're serving Hamas's goal. That's just what Hamas is about. Make no mistake. 
Hamas is pleased with the results from yesterday. No country in this chamber would act with more restraint than Israel has. And that said, Israel only targeted people who were actively engaged in violence. We only use live fire in a measured and surgical way. Why the Israeli forces were shooting dead protesters at the Gaza crossings. Well, we can't put all these people in jail. <laughs> what are we gonna do, bro? Put them in jail? We can't do that. We gotta kill some of them. Dude, this is... I'm sorry, bro. You're a Nazi, okay? You're literally a fucking Nazi. I don't give a fuck if you're Jewish. I don't give a fuck what your, like, uh, history is. But right now, in this fucking framework, in this point in time, you are literally a Nazi, okay? That's it. Like, the, the difference is that it's fucking not German, okay? It's in English. But what about the Hamas rockets? We must be clear. What started this I immediate horror was in the intensification of Israel's ethnic cleansing campaign against Palestinians in East Jerusalem. Yeah. Wait, let me see if there's any, like, uh... Yeah, I can't show this. There's, like, literally dead Palestinian children in this article. I already talked about this, by the way, so um, there's no reason to go over this again. Really downplaying the systematic murder of 6 million Jews, but okay. Really? Am I downplaying the systematic murder of one of the worst atrocities that have ever been committed? Really? I'm, I'm downplaying that by saying like, you are literally doing the same shit that your people were subjected to? It's funny. It's, it's funny. It's great. It's, it's wonderful when uh, people try to fucking defend. You're stealing their land. What do you expect for them to just sit and watch you? What? Are you saying... Are you saying the Palestinians are stealing Israeli land? Are you fucking insane? Hamas demands for Israel for anyone who won't search and see why Netanyahu denied ceasefire, giving free access to worshippers from all parts of Palestine to pray without restriction or harassment by the Israeli police. Or the Israeli settlers and halting the attempts to expel the Palestinian leaders or Palestinian residents of Sheikh Jarrah. Yeah, I mentioned that and people got mad at me and said that was a lie. Um, yeah, before the original bombing, before the original Hamas bombing campaign started, they literally said, and uh, like, like remove all of the fucking Israeli troops from the Al-Aqsa Mosque and allow freedom of travel for all Palestinians to go to the Al-Aqsa Mosque and stop the uh, forcible removal of uh, the the Palestinians from Sheikh Jarrah, and and uh, and and if you don't do that, what I'm reading the other way. Wait, no, that's that's literally what fucking Hamas. That's literally what Hamas said. No, they did. There's a video of it. It's not like... I mean, dude, even the fucking... Listen, guys. I'm gonna be honest with you. When the fucking New York Times, which is historically not exactly uh, the biggest uh, advocates for uh, Muslim lives or Palestinians in general, when, when the New York Times is covering it adequately and absolutely fucking showing, like, the leader of Hamas saying, like, we will do something if uh, you don't uh, if you don't remove uh, the soldiers from Al-Aqsa and allow Palestinians to get into the Al-Aqsa Mosque, and then their uh, bombing campaign starts, like, and you can literally find it uh, on uh, on uh, the New York Times Daily, 
And in, in general, you can find it everywhere. Um, then you're probably in the wrong. Have you seen South Carolina proposing making Confederate black soldier monuments? No. You clicked on a tweet earlier and said, oh shit, that's bad. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, um, Bernie Sanders wrote a, uh, article on it. Your chat is starting to attract IDF paid Hosber brigaders. Be careful. They're going to start putting out bullshit. No, they're not. Good luck. Uh, I mean, fucking good luck. I think there's plenty of like uh, hyper nationalist Zionists that come in here uh, with fucking hot takes regardless. So. What's the extension you use to get a scroll over summary for links in the chat? It's just Chatterino. It's a Chatterino option. The idea of murder a Palestinian paramedic when she had her hands up and was no threat to them and she was in her uniform after she died. Yeah, I remember. I talked about that already. I talked about this before. So, that... A part of the conflict that we just showed you, a part of like them fucking murking people with sniper rifles and then claiming it was like Hamas's fault for those people being there in protest. Um, in, in that round of uh, Israeli brutality, uh, there was a Palestinian paramedic that was murdered by the IDF. IDF snipers shot a Palestinian paramedic who had her fucking hands up, who was very clearly not a threat, and was clearly marked as a paramedic, which is like a war crime, as you guys know. But uh, when you're doing so many war crimes, how are you going to fucking keep up, right? And the IDF literally deceptively edited video footage to smear her and say that she was actually a fucking terrorist. And then it came out that it, that was a fucking complete lie. Just be careful with your words around Hamas as Twitch could use terrorism to ban you. That's ridiculous, dude. That's fucking insane. Okay. We'll be going to a free Palestine demonstration in London where Corbin will be the speaker. Good shit. Safer to be a medic without markings. Um, okay, I'm gonna watch the Shibibo video finally. Playlist. I don't know which one you wanted to watch. Okay. Disgusting. Left is covered for terrorists. Biden reinforces the false Hamas. idea that Palestinians instigated this cycle of violence. Of course they instigated this cycle of violence. Are you insane? I cannot watch that footage. Wait. Hamas instigated this cycle of violence? It was so crazy when uh, Hamas was like, yo, IDF, you should go fucking evict the Palestinians in Sheikh Jarrah. Uh, or threaten to remove them from their homes and also simultaneously set up blockades for the past fucking, you know, uh, 30, 40 fucking years, right? In occupied territory that uh, the international community has condemned as a war crime. 
And then on top of that, Hamas was like, yo, please fucking, you know, rubber bullet uh, the, the uh, uh, mosque goers after you already prevented a bunch of fucking Palestinians from going to the mosque in general. And see a fair fight. Who's firing the rockets? What they are doing to the Palestinian people is what they continue to do to our black brothers and sisters mm -hmm. here. They don't hate America because they hate Israel. They hate Israel because they hate America. The left willingness to cover for actual honest to God terrorist groups is astonishing to me. Or maybe, or maybe, just maybe, like Rashida Tlaib personally has, uh, you know, experience with the matter. I don't know. That could be part of it. Or, uh, I don't know, maybe they, like, literally see uh, IDF beating the shit out of uh, people inside of a mosque and think, like, that's kind of fucked up. It really is an amazing thing. Hamas makes no bones about the fact that they wish to wipe out every Jew. Okay, this is not a conflict over land. This is not a conflict over borders. This is not a... You have one group that wishes to kill everyone of a particular group and one group that wishes to live. They are, they are being very inconvenient in that they are not... Dude, all Palestinians are Hamas, okay? All Palestinians want to wipe out all Jews. And also, simultaneously, like, Israel is not doing, literally, like, the actions that Ben Shapiro claims all Palestinians want to subject uh, all Jews to. That's great, dude. What a, just role reversal. Just, in order to make your argument... Just straight up fucking, just just say that your enemy is exactly like the actions, and and take the actions that you're you yourself or your side is fucking committing. Just say that your enemy's doing it. Not willingly dying. There have been times in the past where Jews were quite soft in their own defense. It didn't end well for them. That's never going to happen again. That's why the state of Israel exists, and people are angry that the state of Israel exists. And so you have to come up with all sorts of bizarre justifications for why Israel is not right to defend itself here. Fortunately, we have Congress people, sitting Congress people, who are full on in uh, on this sort of stuff. So, for example, you have Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez openly defending Hamas, right? This genius. So Joe Biden said that Israel has a right to defend itself, which, by the way, isn't it kind of amazing that you have to actually say that? Does Palestine have a right to defend itself? Does Palestine have a right to defend itself. That's the question you got to ask. Like, did, can Palestinians defend themselves against an occupying force? Obviously, no. Ben Shapiro does not think that. Israel, which is a sovereign country, has the right to defend itself. What would the converse be? It doesn't have the right to defend itself? Of course it has the right to defend itself. You know what would happen if there were a terrorist group or, say, the government of Mexico, which is actually... Or the government of Israel, which operates as a fucking terrorist group against Palestinians. What is going on? Hamas is the government of the Gaza Strip? What if the government of Mexico were firing hundreds of rockets into San Diego? Dude, people that say they launched the rockets first are so... Fu oh, you guys weren't here already. I went through piece by piece and described to you um, what fucking happened as the lead up to uh, Hamas launching rockets. That's still not justifiable because I don't think that like what Israel is doing is justifiable. And if I don't think what Israel is doing is justifiable, the small fraction of that, which is what Hamas does, just in it, not even comparable because it's so asymmetrical, that's not justifiable either, okay? But the reason why rockets were fired upon israel which were quickly intercepted by the way by the iron dome system was because hamas demanded that the idf no longer fucking beat the shit out of uh the palestinians that were traveling to al-aqsa mosque on islam's holiest fucking day and al-aqsa mosque is uh, islam's one of islam's holiest fucking sites on the planet that's it. They wanted Israel to stop evicting the Palestinians from Sheikh Jarrah, and they wanted and they wanted Israel to stop 
rubber bulleting and, and gassing and fucking beating the shit out of Muslims who were in Al-Aqsa. Okay? Built on the site of the second Jewish temple? Dude, I love that take. It's like, I fucking love that take, dude. Okay, the entire city of Jerusalem is fucking holy. Okay, got it. Oh, dude, sorry. It's the, it's one of the holiest sites for Jews, too. So, okay. All right. So, what do you want to do? You want to fucking bomb the mosque and just wipe it out? Like, I don't get it. Bring the Crusades back, bro. Sorry. I guess genocide is okay then. Diego. Do you know how long that government would last? Zero days. We would be planting the American flag in Mexico City immediately. Okay, this Wait, would that make it right? Like, that's also kind of weird. It's like, dude, we would fucking be so devastating. <coughs> yeah. Okay, the notion great. that Israel is supposed to sit around and bear this sort of stuff is insane. So Biden says Israel has a right to defend itself, which is like the mildest form of, okay, Israel can kill a few Hamas leaders. Like what, what, honestly, listen to me. I, I, I'm seriously asking this because like maybe someone who knows Ben Shabibo can like tell me. Like what could have Biden said? What should have Biden say that like that would have made him sound more militantly defending uh israel like what can what could he have said that made him literally sound more like he's in support of israel he literally said i talked to all the surrounding leaders jack did not mention palestinians once the american uh the the americans blocked the fucking u.n security council from even discussing peace talks okay He's already said, like, I'm a Zionist. You don't need to be a Jew to be a Zionist. He said that we should be unapologetic about our support for Israel. Like, what could he have said that would make Ben Shapiro excited? Like, should he have said, Palestine, you do not deserve to be there, and Israel, may Israel wipe you off the face of the planet? Would Ben Shapiro be happy about that? Is that the only thing... And everything beyond that is actually unacceptable? Like, what do you want him to do, dude? You want him to sit there and fucking literally uh, uh, press the button to keep, like, drone striking fucking uh, 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 Palestinian buildings? Would, would you be comfortable then? Because Biden literally does not give a single shit about Palestinians. That much is clear. The only thing, and I said this yesterday, the only difference here is like between, between Biden and Trump, the only difference here for all of you fucking supposedly progressives for progressive for everything but uh, Palestine, the only difference here between Biden and fucking Trump is that Donald Trump would have also been like, Palestinians are dogs and they deserve to be wiped out. That's it. The actions of the American government under Trump and Biden would have been nearly fucking identical. Okay. I can't speak for moving the embassy to Jerusalem, but it doesn't seem like Biden wants to take the embassy out of Jerusalem, the American embassy, legitimizing Israel's occupation there. Anyway. Alexander Ocasio-Cortez then tweets out, blanket statements like these. Blanket statements? What state doesn't have the right to defend itself? Blanket statements like these with little context or acknowledgement of what precipitated this cycle of violence, namely the expulsions of Palestinians and attacks on Al-Aqsa, dehumanize Palestinians and imply the U.S. will look the other way at human rights violations. It's wrong. So it's wrong for her, for the Jewish state to defend itself. He's saying that Israel doesn't have a right to defend itself from ongoing consistent rocket attacks directed at civilians. Okay, that's, there's a point where being anti-Israel shifts over into being anti-Semitic. Okay, and at the point, Wait, what is that point for Ben? I thought it was literally the moment that you utter a, an anti-Zionist take or the moment that you say anything that is like even remotely critical of Israel, you're an anti-Semite. 
unless you are in support of Israel, then you can literally say anti-Semitic things and Ben will defend you like Ann Coulter. What's the line for Ben, I wonder? Because it sure seems like Ben thinks literally any fucking mention of Israel that is not like full-throated support is anti-Semitism. Point where you are saying that the Jewish state doesn't have the same rights as any other state on planet Earth, you have reached this point. Okay, Alexander Ocasio-Cortez tweeted out by only stepping in to name Hamas's actions, which are condemnable, and refusing to acknowledge the right- Okay, but like, she literally is condemning Hamas. What the fuck? So what's Ben's problem? Again, this is incredible. He's literally saying that like, even if you condemn Hamas, which literally everyone does, come the fuck on, obviously. Even if you condemn Hamas and then say, Israel, you should stop committing human rights abuses, it's like not enough. It's not enough. You literally have to say, no, what Israel's doing is poggers, okay? I'm Ben Shapiro. And hypothetically, what if ethnic cleansing, when done by Israelis, was actually very cool and very defendable? Like that, that's what the Ben Shapiro take is, okay? It's obvious. It's obvious that uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez here, hypothetically, is defending Hamas by saying Hamas's actions are condemnable to Palestinians, Biden reinforces the false idea that Palestinians instigated this cycle of violence. Of course they instigated this cycle of violence. Are you insane? Who's firing the rockets? Okay. I love, I love, love, love when ardent defenders of the Zionism and the IDF's actions and Israel always act like yesterday did not happen. They always, like, there was that one, like, uh, interesting fucking meme where it's, like, there will be, like, 11 fucking headlines leading up to the moment where, like, Hamas fires rockets, right? And they just go, nothing happened before that moment. And it's just, the people uh, uh, were just like, oh, yeah, we fucking love, dude. We're just gonna fucking do this, dude. Fuck yeah. Like, there are absolutely fucking anti-semitic freaks in hamas obviously okay obviously but it as far as them operating or basically locking the palestinians in gaza as the only administrative body as far as they are like representatives of that administrative body they made demands and their demands were stop beating the shit out of fucking people Going to Al Aqsa. It's on the record. Not only that, but also on top of that, there was an a call for a ceasefire from the Hamas side. Once again, Hamas shot rockets at Israel 1,400 years ago. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, where. UN and uh, the UAE and other fucking surrounding uh, regional or surrounding region leaders wanted to go to Hamas and ask for a ceasefire. And they said, and I'm not like defending Hamas or anything. I'm just giving you, I'm reporting to you what the fucking news is. Okay. And they said, Israel needs to declare a ceasefire. They are the ones who are firing back. And Benjamin Netanyahu and other IDF leaders straight up said, no, we're not going to stop. When the UN Security Council wanted to at least start the peace talks and the ceasefire talks, the United States, in an effort to con let Israel continue its bombing campaign, said, no, we are going to block this from happening. So there are certain parts that want to end the bombing campaign, okay? And there is one group that does not want to end the bombing campaign, and that group is fucking Israel, okay? Is the Israeli government, because they don't want to end it. They want to wipe out as many Palestinians as they can, or they want to fucking show the Palestinians, like, if any motherfucker stands up and tries to fucking fight back in any way, shape, or form, we will bomb the fuck out of you. And that is precisely what is going on.
who started the riots at Al-Aqsa. Okay, that is a lie to say that the Israelis started the riots at Al-Aqsa. It is not true. Damn, going again and again and again over the same controversial topic without providing a solution sure is good for ad revenue? Are you talking about Ben or me? Because I've talked about my solutions multiple times. It's a one-state solution. Maybe you haven't been here, but it is the only solution, okay? And that solution is not going to be Israel in the way that it currently operates against Palestinians. A democratic country, a democratic nation state that is comprised of all Palestinians and all Israelis that are currently living there. That is the only fucking solution. It is an overt lie. She says, this is not neutral language. It takes a side, the side of occupation. She's an ignoramus and she's a fool. Okay, and that is perfectly clear. They mean a solution they want to hear? Yeah, that's true. Clear. But so, but the, you know, I, I will attribute to, I will attribute ignorance to her. I will attribute malice to Rashida Tlaib. So Rashida Tlaib is just a malicious. Ooh, ooh, I wonder why Rashida Tlaib is malicious. Mm, I wonder if her, her being Palestinian has anything to do with like, why she's like on top of everything else. Like AOC's kind of stupid, right? But Rashida Tlaib, she's malicious. I wonder why Rashida Tlaib is additionally malicious. Pro-terror liar. So here's Rashida Tlaib at a rally yesterday promoting the, the leftist idea, the international leftist idea, that the subjugated of the world are all in solidarity with one another. And that the true story of humanity is white people all over. And she, she counts Jews with whites. White people all Okay. There are plenty of Israelis that are fucking not white. Okay. Some Israelis don't even like those not white people, as a matter of fact, depending on how not white they are, i.e. Ethiopian Jews and African Jews in general. Uh, look no further than uh, the wonderful IDF program that even Tucker Carlson thought was incredible, uh, where the IDF was going to train civilians to find and out and forcibly remove Ethiopian Jews that are not supposed to be within the borders of Israel. Tucker Carlson thought that was fucking sick, and then America should do it as well. Anyway, but like, uh, yeah, no, there are white Jews, and then there are non-white Jews. It's not a monolith, obviously, because uh, Jews come from all around the world, from different backgrounds and all of that. But uh, I think what most people say... It's been three to four days of you covering this and you haven't stopped Israel yourself yet. What do I pay you two cents an hour for? Yeah. Uh, what the fuck was I talking about? Um, I totally forgot. God damn it. I totally forgot. I just read the, the fucking take. I love how they pretend that the IDF cannot surgically and precisely enter Hamas operative regions that greatly minimize collateral damage to Palestinian civilians. They forcibly gave Ethiopian Jews birth control. This explains what you're saying. What is this fucking link, dude? You've been spamming this nonstop. What? What the fuck is this? Faisal Al Shaka, a short video explaining uh, Israel's relationship with Palestine. What? <laughs> hey! Come back here and find me like a man. If you come near me again, I'm gonna break your face. No, no, bro, you keep coming in at the wrong time. He punched me. Breaking news, a Palestinian man incites violence and threatens to kill an innocent Israeli man. Folks, this footage is too disturbing to show, so we won't show it. This is kind of cringe, dude. Yes, finally. Hey, that's my phone. It's mine now. <laughs> Give it back. Um, no. No, I can't watch. This is too fucking cringe to watch. Okay. I can't watch this. Anyway. <laughs> What's your take on Turkish genocide and Armenians? What is it, chat? If only there was a command for this, because uh, uh, this is the most common fucking way to deflect away.
Okay. Let's watch. All over who are subjugating brown people all over. This That's is so my video. Thanks. I thought I did good. Shut the fuck up. Don't say that. It's good. It's just uh, maybe not the best for this moment in time. Something that Jamal Bowman, who's standing right next to Rashida Tlaib when, when she says this, also is putting out there. It's the reason why Black Lives Matter has in, has in its manifesto, in its program, end the Israeli occupation. And because there's a lie that is out there, going all the way back to Franz Fanon, that basically anybody who has a European way of life is an oppressor, and anybody else is not an oppressor. They are the victimized. And so the oppressor of the world have to rise up in anti-colonialist fashion, right? That's what this language is. So here's Rashida Tlaib suggesting that what the what the Israelis what? are, quote unquote, doing to the Palestinians is what the police do to black and brown people. I assume that's what she means by they, because if she doesn't mean the police by they, if she doesn't mean two separate terms by they, as you will see, then she's just talking about the Jews. And that's just pure anti-Semitism. So here's Rashida, <laughs> Rashida Tlaib suggesting somehow a connection between police treatment of black and brown people in the United States, which, again, she lies about. So Israeli treatment of Palestinians. So there are a few things that are wrong with this one. The police in the United States are not systemically racist. Put that aside. Number two, the Israelis are not white. Okay, this... this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, this is what I was going to say. When Rashida Tlaib talks about, like, um, white people, or when I say, like, uh, this is Israel having its, like, Western white colonizer moment, I don't mean they're literally fucking white. I mean they're acting like white people, Okay. They're acting like how white people have historically acted. And when I say how white people have historically acted, I mean Western colonial expansion, okay? And that is literally what's going on. So it's kind of funny that Ben is doing the whole like, uh, oh, actually, Sweaty, these fucking oppressors, these colonizers in this circumstance, well, some of them are not white, so it's kind of fucked up. I thought being white was all right, Ben. Why are you fucking, why are you now all of a sudden trying to fucking use the POC shield? It's bizarre. Shields up, boys. <laughs> notion that the Israelis are white ignores the fact that like half of Israelis, more than half of Israelis by percentage, are from Arabic countries. Okay, the, the Jews who have been killed in Israel, there's some from Yemen. There's some from Morocco. They're, they're, they're... Dude, this is funny as fuck. Dude, Ben. <laughs> He's literally trying to do identity politics. The intersectionality of the Jews being killed in Israel. Uh, how dare you? How dare you say they're behaving like white colonizers? That's There's plenty great. of Jews who are not white. Okay, and, and Jews, technically speaking, uh, were not white until like the last five minutes when they became prominent in, in American politics. Until then, they were considered an outgroup. Okay, but here's Rashida Tlaib pushing this vile nonsense, this vile racially polarizing nonsense. And by the way... Yo, if... If like, uh, if like the, the, uh, Israeli supremacist attitudes are not similar to, uh, white colonizers, then, uh, why are they fucking over Ethiopian Jews and shit? Or why did the fucking crowd, like literally two days ago, why did the Jewish crowd, the, the Israeli crowd, uh, look for a Palestinian an Arab Israeli, I guess, uh, which is still a colonized language, but like a Palestinian living in Israel and then ended up beating the shit out of just, a, again, a, a Jewish Israeli who was just browner. It's like whenever motherfuckers say like, ah, Islamophobia is not racist, sweaty. Yeah, but it's fucking racialized, dude. Like, it's literally racialized. It, it's just, just like, just like, the ethnostate project in, in Israel also has a, uh, a, a a racialized component as well. The way pro Hamas nonsense because she has nary a word to say about Hamas firing rockets indiscriminately into civilian population centers and using human shields in order to protect themselves. Our freedom is interconnected with black, brown, indigenous, and it's connected. What they are doing to the Palestinian people is what they continue to do to our black brothers and sisters here to the illegal community here in the north. So I want you to know this. As you all are marching for freedom of Palestine, please know that you must be marching for everybody's freedom. It is all interconnected. It's all interconnected, you see. This is how you grow this movement. But by the way, it is. The truth. For the I mean, it is. Like, it literally is. Because... The oppression of marginalized communities, which historically has featured Jews as well, by the way, and still does in certain respects, 
Um, just not in fucking Israel. Uh, is uh, usually very similar. Just like colonization is oftentimes very fucking similar. Let's see. Ben said, by the way, it is. I want to hear what he has to say. To the left, you, so you, wonder, you, wonder, you wonder about the red, what they, the people have termed the red-green alliance, meaning the, the sort of communist, you know, red-red Islamist alliance. The answer is there. <laughs> what? Wait, is he trying to say the red-brown alliance? Like, or, or, or is he going to... Wait, what the fuck is he talking about? Aimed at, at tearing down American institutions, tearing down Western institutions. Israel is seen as an extension of that. They don't hate America because they hate Israel. Dude, <laughs> Red Red Alliance. Yeah, no, dude. Yeah, the Communist Islamist Alliance, dude. Muslim is green. Yeah, Muslim Communist Alliance. Okay. Yeah, when you have no fucking argument, you just make one up. Uh, you just craft one up that's like fucking idiotic. And because your audience are a bunch of goddamn hogs that eat the slop that you feed them, hook, line, and sinker, they'll just be like, oh, yeah, he's right. It's because, uh, yeah. I wonder why a, a, uh, an American uh, congresswoman of Palestinian descent would be for ending the oppression and the occupation of, like, literally people like her grandmother, okay? I wonder why she would have a take like that. Oh, it's, it must be because they want to end American civilization. That's what it is. Israel. They hate Israel because they hate America. I mean, this, the, the basic notion that Rashida Tlaib want, is connecting the institutions of the United States with what's going on in Israel, in order to conflate all of that, you have to acknowledge that what she's really attempting to do is condemn all of the systems of the West because there is some supposed underclass that is being repressed by these systems. And so, I mean, w w w w but like, it's like, we're not even talking about it from the capitalist point of view of like uh, workers being the permanent underclass like, or, the, or the inherent contradictions within... Uh, the class interests uh, under capitalism and how they clash with one another. Like, but we're, we can watch the footage, Ben. Like, the footage exists. Like, you can see IDF soldiers rolling into Al-Aqsa Mosque and fucking over people who are praying inside the mosque in the middle of Ramadan. Like, we can see it with our fucking eyes. And a lot of people, unfortunately for Ben Shabibo, are actually paying attention for the first time in the West. That's what's really triggering for people like Ben, who have enjoyed the the uh, the support, or rather the the lack of care from Western uh, media watchers in regards to the Israel Palestine situation. Like he's gotten away with uh, some of the more psychotic, bloodthirsty things that he has been able to say, including but not limited to. Uh, what was it? Israelis like to build. Arabs like to live in sewage uh, and bomb things. If I if I recall, that was a, a famous Ben Shabibo quote. Like, or when he wrote about uh, literally doing a final solution on all the Arabs, all the Palestinians living in Palestine uh, in an effort to make sure that that Israel ethno state could exist. He wrote this back in 2003 in Town Hall. Um, so... You know, all of this stuff, he enjoyed being able to spread fascist propaganda about Israel because people didn't turn around and go, what the fuck are you talking about? This is kind of unacceptable. Because being on the side of the Palestinian struggle or even, even admitting that Palestinians are humans, anything beyond saying like every Palestinian is a fucking terrorist that deserves to die was met with so much aggression. Okay? So much aggression by the American media. This tweet, is, this tweet from Ben Shapiro has been withheld in Germany, France based on local laws. Israelis like to build. Arabs like to bomb crap and live in open sewage. This is not a difficult issue. Hashtag settlements rock. Censorship. Absolutely incredible censorship. I cannot believe that these communist nations like France and Germany would dare